Say no to fights. Practice a loving-kindness meditation. This Buddhist meditation will help you improve your relationships with everyone around you, whether it's a lover, your children, parents, or co-workers. By some strange coincidence, it turns out that we fight with our friends and family the most. Maybe right now your relationship with a lover, a friend, or your mother, a colleague is not what you really want. You're stressed, you don't want to go home and call them. You don't know how to make peace and you're mad, or maybe you're offended. You have to communicate with these people, but these ongoing fights wear you out. If everything I just said is about you, then by all means keep watching this video. I know that I can help you. One of my students complained that she had had a fight with everyone around her and was having a hard time with it. She had a fight with her boyfriend two weeks ago, that's why she was rude to her mother and a co-worker stopped asking her to lunch. She didn't know what to do. I suggested the ancient Buddhist meditation called Metta Bhavana. Lily, that's the girl's name, practiced the meditation for five days and this is what happened. The next day, her mother made her favorite meal, something she hadn't done in over two years. When they were having dinner, her mother confessed that she wanted to make her happy. Three days later, Lily's boyfriend texted her and asked how she was doing. It looked like the ice had broken. Well, things got better with a co-worker. A week later, she started asking Lily to go to lunch together again. I made a conclusion that the good heart meditation is one of the most popular meditations in Buddhism for a reason. I suggest that you try to. To practice it, take a comfortable position. The important thing is to sit as still as possible. This will help you to tune in to what you're feeling inside. This tuning is an important pre-stage of Metta Bhavana. It can be practiced at any time. Tune in to what you're feeling at the moment. Whatever your feelings may be, pleasant or unpleasant or non-existent at all, don't change anything. If there are any painful feelings, don't pretend they don't exist. But instead, try not to get mad or depressed but just observe what feelings come up from a distance. Do the same thing with pleasant feelings. Recognize them, rejoice in them, but don't get too carried away. This kind of tuning into the world of your feelings is called awareness. If you practice with awareness, you will be able to stay in tune with your own inner world long enough. At least a slight ability of tuning in this way is a necessary foundation of any meditation. Actually, awareness is the most important aspect if you want to really learn how to manage your reality. If you have not just had a fight with the person you love, but everything is really bad, and you have serious issues in your relationship, cheating, growing cold, breaking up, Maybe you should try more effective methods. It may be a revelation to you, but I'll tell you that with the help of one universal law of the universe, you can restore relationships, you can attract specific men, you can change their opinions about you, their feelings, turn indifference into love. I'm talking about the well-known law of attraction. If you've watched The Secret Movie, you know what it's all about. The way your man feels about you can be changed by changing your center of attraction. If you want to learn more about this, sign up for my free online masterclass. Take a comfortable position, close your eyes, and feel your body. Watch your breathing. Take time to count how long your breaths in and out last. Breath in, one, two, three, four, five. Breath out, one, two, three, four, five. Breath in, one, two, three, four, five. Breath out, one, two, three, four, five. Keep counting your breaths in and out 
while the music is playing. Think about the good positive feelings you have about yourself. Say to yourself, I am happy. I am happy. I feel good. I feel very good. Recall a moment when you felt sincere joy. From the bottom of your heart, wish yourself happiness. Keep being aware of your feelings. Bring up feelings of kindness and friendliness in your chest. Let the good feelings flow in a river. Feel that you've become happier and more satisfied with yourself. Now think of a kind person, a good friend, someone you feel very good about. For example, a close friend or a relative. Someone you like and feel good about. Imagine that he or she is happy. And wish him happiness from the bottom of your heart. Keep being aware of 
of your feelings. Bring up feelings of kindness and friendliness in your chest. Let the good feelings flow in a river. Now imagine someone you don't know very well and don't have any special feelings for. For example, someone you bump into every day in public transport. Imagine that this person is happy and wish him or her happiness. Keep being aware of your feelings. Bring up feelings of kindness in your chest. Let the good feelings flow in a river. Now imagine someone you don't like at all. Someone who's hurting you, insulting you, or upsetting you. Try not to focus on his flaws. And remember that this person wants to be happy too. Imagine that this person is happy and sincerely wish him happiness from the bottom of your heart. Let your good feelings flow in a river. Well now, imagine how all of you, a kind friend, a passerby, a foe, and yourself, have the same pleasant feeling, a feeling of kindness and friendliness, and wish happiness to all of you. Then expand your vision and think about everyone around you. Picture them and wish them happiness. Think about those who live in your neighborhood or city, region, and country. Think about 
all these people and wish them happiness. Wish them as much happiness as you wish for yourself. I sincerely wish happiness to each of you. So I invite all of you girls and women to my absolutely free masterclass on mind power. If you've already tried all the meditations on my channel and even they don't help in your complicated relationship, let me help you. I will tell you how to stop making mistakes in relationships with men and how to understand the code of men. The link is below the video, go ahead and sign up and you will get the link to the webinar and I'll see you there. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notifications about my new videos on dream manifestation.